Yes, we are who we are. Headlights shining in the dark that I drive on. Maybe we took things too far. Headlights by Eminem. You need to make sure I keep it because I, this is a repeated segment. I have to pretend like it's something new, but you know, eh, you know, that's what the script says. So I'll, I'll just pretend that I didn't fourth wardly break that and just be like, Eminem's headlights. You sleep. <laughs> Judith Theodore here, and welcome to the greatest segment on the internet. And today we'll be talking about Eminem, MC Chicago rapper, famous white boy. Best rapper of all time? Who knows? If if it was pre-2013, I'd, ha I'd, have to, I'd, have, I'd have to agree. Because of everything in his back catalogue is pretty good. Ex except Encore. Not enough people give that album shit. We give Revival shit because we have to listen to it. But imagine having to listen to Encore when that was his new album. Oh my god, this... Ugh. Hate aside, I don't like really being that negative on this very small channel. But I just want to discuss... A gem in Eminem's discography. A gem in M, if you will. The one that doesn't get enough love, like a lot of his songs do. Like, you know, everyone knows The Real Slim Shady and, you know, Without Me. And even like some things that are more indie Eminem, like Berserk or Cleaning Out the Closet, Rock Bottom, that people think is not appreciated enough. Yeah, we've gotten to the point where Eminem has such a large fan base that. Those underappreciated songs become normalized. You, you, you see what I did there? I, I combined normal and normal and normalized to create a internet buzzword that I'm pretty sure already exists. But if not, I've created the term. If you use it, you will be paying me money and I will be accepting Amazon gift cards. But I feel like Headlights doesn't get enough credit for what it does. Like, you know, sure, Eminem has a formula, but I gotta say, because it's, he has such a good pen game, his voice is just amazing, it, it really works. Which, it's basically, you know, you get the introduction of the hook, you get Eminem's first verse, then you get the hook again, Eminem's second verse, then the hook again, and then the hook is expanded by the singing he has on feature, and then potentially Eminem verse at the end. If not, there's very odd times where Eminem does the hook himself, when he... He's not the worst singer. It could, he, he, he could be more tone deaf, but his formula aside, I gotta say, this is a really good, what, what should have been a good cap off of Eminem's entire career. Not that, like, shitting on his mum was entirely his career, it was just the real focal point of his character. Like, you know, Chance loves his wife, Kanye loves himself, Tyler the Creator, and Cars from pre-2017. Notice Emily Chopper, like, has pasta bars. Logic's biracial. Not anymore. I, 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 no pressure proves that he has moved on from that, and I, I quite love the record. I would say check it out. No, no, yeah, I'm just, check it out, please. Sidebar. I got very sidetracked in that, and even further proof of the sidetracking is that I am in new clothes, and it is nighttime, and I am shooting from a different angle as before. Please ignore this. There's something about everything, even the everything about the Marshall Mathers LP two is just magnificent and wonderful and I think that not many people give it enough credit because it's some it's directly tied to one arguably one of his best if not his best I'd say the Eminem show tops it just slightly like the first LP even though personally the second LP Marshall Mathers is my favorite Eminem album yeah I know it's it's an awful opinion but it's my opinion and I can have it it's just a great cap off of his of his career from his like you know slight downfall from 2004 to 2009 and then his triumphant return with recovery and it, just everything about this song just encapsulates that it captures a lot of the old Eminem formula with you know the, the formula I just discussed whilst also just having a really reflective Eminem who calls upon the good moments he had with his mother and in a very awkward encounter he had with her recently and just the fact of his really messed up childhood, how it wasn't really her fault. Like, she was a victim of her circumstances, which is something really serious that you know, usually Eminem wouldn't tackle because he's a bit more comedic and satirical in his thing. But he has tackled serious issues, like in white America. And a lot of the material off of Revival is actually quite, like, you know, reflective of society. Well, mostly in America, because um, they have very specific problems. 
that aside, I just, I find everything about the instrumentation of it just really, really powerful, roaring. It's like a good rock sample used correctly by Eminem, because sometimes you use really, really annoying parts where it's chopped up. But this part, it's just more of a rock piano balladry, which I think hip-hop looks better with pianos than guitars. Because guitars are either really good, or they're really like a, just a giant miss. Because you can even get some of the stuff of like the Sailor from Richard Ryan, which is huge, huge win. It's just a really effective, powerful tune. And I feel like this singer doesn't get enough credit, to the point where even I forgot the name a little bit. Right? Nate Roos, just a very powerful voice. It's got a bit of a nasally quality to it, but it's just, it's still, when he hits the highs, the, the man can hit the goddamn highs. Like, my goodness, he goes well with, like, just the, you can tell, like, there's, like, the beat's just actually really nice. It's just that sample quality where it's, like, almost looping at times. And then it goes on to, like, just the really nice piano chord progression as either Nate Roos is singing on from Eminem's perspective or just Eminem, like, spitting lines. And then when he takes a nice pause, just the piano instrumentation starts again and the loop goes and he generally changes his speed constantly for a minute. Which is just, you know, his, te his technical rapping has never fallen. Like, people can say, like, someone lost their lyrical skills or their flow or just their character and charm or their technical thing. Eminem never loses his technical speed. He will always have the skill to rap. Sometimes his sound may be a bit off because generally in his older days he was very angry and he says he's lost the anger in a lot of his stuff now, which is why people say he sounds constipated constantly. But sometimes I really don't tell the difference. I, the only time I'd say is really jarring was on Revival, and that's just... I don't know, there's something about it. I just, I really... I don't hate any of Eminem's newer stuff. Like, the music's been murdered by, I found very, very fun and enjoyable. A lot of features that Eminem wouldn't usually team up with. It shows they did actually try to step into the new wave of hip-hop. And... Kamikaze was just unexpectedly fun because it just it came out of nowhere. Unnecessarily murdering Machine Gun Kelly. It's like he almost knew that he was going to date Megan Fox and he was helping his incel fan base. <laughs> yeah. But despite the fact that Eminem has maintained like a meme status now for just, you know, promoting stands, basically is responsible for giving a giant coining term for those kinds of people. But I'd say on a song like this, he, 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 it's, at his, it's, it's at his finest, you know. His pen game is good. Rhymes are very solid. It's very emotive. And it's not like really gross or pandery or like desperate. It's just really reflective. And especially with Nate Roos emphasizing that on his like extension of the chorus. Just really, really solid track. And I don't think people give it enough credit. Please check out Headlights by Eminem. Please check out the Marshall Matters LP too. Because I don't know, the only people who check it out are people who listen to fucking Rap God. That's a goddamn good song. For the love of God, it's a solid fucking album. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I took so long to make this. And when I mean I took so long, I mean I spent the duration of the day making it to the point where I had two clothes changes and even a goddamn scenery change. I'm going to keep doing this because I enjoy it and because compared to my other content it is much easier to edit compared to making fucking animation. Alright. Adios.